Hello friends, it's good to be with you again. Our encouragement from God's Word today is Psalm 12. In this psalm, David contrasts the proud and lying words of people with the true and pure words of God in a call for protection against those who try to manipulate us. Living for God in a deceitful world can be difficult and lonely at times. At one time, the great prophet Elijah felt so lonely that he wanted to die. But God told him that there were 7,000 other faithful servants, something that we can read about in 1 Kings chapter 19. We are never alone in our battles against evil. When you do feel alone, seek out other Christians for strength and support. Sincerity and truth are extremely valuable because they're so rare. We see so many deceivers in our world, don't we? Liars and flatterers, because they think that they'll get what they want by deception. As a king, David certainly faced his share of such people who hoped to win his favour and gain advancement through flattery. When we feel as though sincerity and truth have nearly gone out of existence, we have one hope, the Word of God. God's Word is as pure and flawless as refined silver. So, listen carefully uh, to the way he speaks to us through his Word. And then after the Bible reading, I'll pray an evening prayer which asks God to watch over us and then I'll finish with a blessing. And do please excuse the dog snoring in the background. And so the reading is Psalm 12. Please help me, Lord. All who were faithful and all who were loyal have disappeared. Everyone tells lies and no one is sincere. Won't you chop off all flattering tongues that brag so loudly? They say to themselves, we are great speakers, no one else has a chance. But you, Lord, tell them, I will do something. The poor are mistreated and helpless people moan. I'll rescue all who suffer. Our Lord, you are true to your promises and your word is like silver heated seven times in a fiery furnace. You will protect us and always keep us safe from those people. But all who are wicked will keep on strutting while everyone praises their shameless deeds. Let's pray. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And a blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.